In this video, I'm going to show you the best tools to texture your 3D models. Substance Designer uses nodes to create tileable PBR textures. It allows you to procedurally create all of your maps, including base color, roughness, metal, ME inclusion, height, displacement, normal, and more. These textures can be used in Substance's other two texturing tools. Substance Painter is a tool that allows you to paint materials onto your 3D models. Those materials can be made using Substance Designer and the next one, Substance Alchemist. Substance Alchemist allows you to mix together different tileable textures, such as those that you make in Substance Designer. You can do things such as mix stones and dirt or sand together, or maybe mix together a normal texture and a damaged texture. Quixel Mixer is a lot like Substance Alchemist. Instead of using Substance Designer materials, it uses the materials from Quixel Megascans. Right now, it can only make tileable materials, but soon you'll be able to import your models and paint directly onto those. Epic, the creator of Unreal Engine, bought Quixel, and they're now giving Megascans away for free if you're using the Unreal Engine, so you can use Mixer with those mega scan materials for free along with the Unreal Engine. Armor Paint is an open source tool that I believe will become free after it leaves beta. You can create materials using textures and nodes and then you can paint them directly onto your model. It currently still lacks some polish but once it leaves beta it should be really good. 3D Co allows you to take materials and paint them onto your mesh. It's also really good for sculpting and retopology. Blender is also a good choice for hand-painted materials, although it's not a great choice for realistic since you can't paint in each texture at once, including like roughness and color and stuff. But it has the advantage of you not having to go and export to a texturing tool after you model. In a few versions, they will be working on massively improving the texturing tools like they're currently doing with the sculpting ones. But right now it might be a good idea to get an add-on such as B Painter that will allow you to get important tools such as easier to use layers that don't need nodes. As for recommendations, if you already model using Blender and you're going for a hand-painted look, you can use Blender for your texture painting. If you use the Unreal Engine, you might want to use Quixel Mixer for more realistic materials, since the mega scans will be available to you for free. Otherwise, you might want to use Substance Painter and maybe also Substance Designer and Alchemist. And if you're a fan of open source, you might want to check out Armor Paint in the future after it's left beta, or you might want to support it right now by buying it. You'll probably also want to use some image editing tools, which I'll have a link up there for my video on that. Let me know in the comments which texturing tools you guys like to use. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this on 3D modeling.